And afternoon, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. I have to do this quick. All right. Uh, let's see. Royal Garden, Save America. Check out Survival Sleep, see uh, Collab with the Vineyard Chick today at 6 o'clock. Sorry. I did a little Sunday school this morning. I'm not feeling too well. And my friends over at the church says, quit pushing yourself on God. We don't want you to drop dead at church. Okay, again, make it real simple. Or dad on YouTube. Fourth year of SHTF, third year of World War III, first year of Civil War. Now, a lot of people don't read the Constitution. All right. Now, Texas has every right because if you read the Constitution, the federal government shall protect the borders. If not, it falls back to the states. It's listed right here. If you get one of these booklets from David, read that section. Shall. Supreme Court was wrong. Maybe or the government could protect the border. They're wrong on that, and the vote on that was very bad. All right? Remember that. Okay, back to gardening. Oh, God, that hurt. Okay. Okay, vineyard chicks. This is for Bunky. This is the easiest way to grow a garden for a lot of you people indoors. You get a mason jar. You get a seed sprout at lid for it, and you go order on Walmart or Amazon mung beans. Very simple. It's not rocket science. Put it in there, wait until they sprout, and then remove the seed uh, husk, and there you have You have bean sprout. Add a little lemon juice, some soy sauce, or rice vinegar. You have to have something acidy to that, and you have soy sauce. This is why a lot of Chinese and Japanese sailors don't get scurvy. Now, if you look at European people, they get scurvy all the time. And the, the whatchamacallit, when the Portuguese came and they're like, oh, they eat lime. And what are those? Oh, bean sprouts. It didn't click in their heads. And it take another 100, 250 years before the British and the Dutch understand about scurvy dips. Anyway, this is the easiest indoor gardening you can do. Sprout beans. Okay, mung beans is the easiest. Not hard, fairly easy. There's several methods of doing this. I just use a jar. My sister uses a reusable liner in there. And it works fine. Either way, it does work. Alright, folks. I'll catch you later. Like I said, mung beans are available either at Walmart or Amazon. Just check out the local prices. I'll catch you later. Remember, grow a garden this year for indoors if you're under 20 feet of snow. Sprouting lid. Not rocket science, folks. Okay, grow a garden, save America. We don't want, like, Uncle Joe, either Stalin or Biden, and starve three million people. Grow your own food. All right. Number two, stockpile and learn how to process. A lot of people have no idea what Uncle Alan's talking about. A lot of people are going to die. All right. Number three, important, get a defensive weapon. A lot of you are just going around the corners and I'm looking at like you're not going to survive. You're just playing prepper or pre praying homesteader, you know, playing around and not really think about what's going to happen and what's the cost of you. All right, a lot of persons asked me what was the bug in person. Well, bug in person is an elderly person frightened by the news, no social contact, stuck in that 50-mile circle, 
buying all sorts of foods and stockpiling willy-nilly and buying gadgets. All right, you have to have skills before you have the gadgets. More skills, less gadgets. Simple. Problem with bugging in, a lot of people don't know what they're doing. They'll burn down their house. Their family suffers a financial loss, like the lady whose husband died and was a prepper and left her $40,000 of garbage all over her property. He died. All right? Know what you're doing. Get a mentor. All right? Stop buying pocket trash. When they found those the mother and two kids out there starved to death, died from hypothermia, malnutrition, and a whole bunch of other things, not poison. Died out there at Pike's Peak. Wrong kind of equipment, wrong kind of supplies. And they had enough pocket trash to kill Godzilla. All right, know your area. Get a mentor. All right. I'm going tired. It's like I looked at these uh, kids and I told them to waste the money, get a nice house, and resell it. And they did. All right, folks. I'll catch you later. God bless and good luck. Reality check. It's 2024. Bye now.